So I have here, I have two staccato strings, both playing the same thing. As you can see here, it's still in uh, uh, MIDI format. So in this one here, channel 19, I've got uh, strings really uh, concentrating on the mid frequencies uh, and some of the low and high frequencies and then having a compressor with average attack and uh, average release. So if we play, if we just play the two MIDI channels, we will hear this one playing. Okay, so you can hear the compressor going off and the EQ working as well. With the second one here, I've got the EQ sort of um, getting rid of all the mid frequencies here slightly and raising the lows and highs. And here I've added it uh, Camel Space uh, at David's Star, so get a bit of a stutter feel to it. And uh, yeah, Audio 21, this is where all the audio from the MIDI notes are being sent to. So if we go to the mixing view, and uh, we go to the Audio 2 here, for the staccato, we send it to Audio 21, and the same for the staccato strings with Camel Space, we're going to send it to Audio 21 here. So here you just click uh, record enabling and uh, you record and uh, both signals here will be sent to the audio 21 uh, and then yeah here audio 21 I've got uh, a gate, a soft gate, not too much, um, some, of the, some compressor with the same compression as staccato 19 and uh, some camel fat here with uh, some sound effects called crazy talk and so if you listen to it here you'll hear both signals being played in one audio channel so you can hear the camel space from this channel being played here as well as camel fat playing on top of it. Uh, with the strings I've got the EQ as the same as staccato number one. Um, compressing the same as the other two. I mean, you, can, you don't have to um, use uh, the same settings I have. Um, I feel that these settings are good for the song that I'm working on, but by all means experiment, do all you can with it. Uh, and here's a little sneak preview of the song that I'm writing now. So yeah, the song still needs to be a bit of work on, but uh, yeah, that was just a quick video on how, how to do basic parallel processing, and uh, I hope you find this video is interesting. Okay, take care of yourself. I'll see you guys later.